Okay, we're gonna do the safety operations today on the horizontal bandsaw. What is rule number one? Keep hands clear of moving parts. Okay, keep hands clear of moving parts. So where are the moving parts on the horizontal bandsaw? Basically, these are our moving parts right here. So you have to keep your hands clear of these parts right here, okay? There's moving parts inside here. However, they're covered with covers, so we don't need to worry about it. This is our main spot to keep our hands clear of this area right here. What's rule number two? Be sure your workpiece is clamped. Okay, be sure our workpiece is clamped securely. So the vise opens and closes with this handle right here. You can see the vise opening and closing. So this is how we open and close the vise. We have to make sure that when we put our piece in the vise, there's no chips in there. Because if there's chips inside the vise, it'll, in, it'll hinder the way that the vise clamps. So we have to make sure there's no chips in there. So we brush those chips out of there. Either if they're small chips, you can use your fingers. If they're larger chips, you can use a brush right here. You brush the chips all out like this and make sure there's no chips in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So when we put our workpiece in, we have to make sure it's clamped securely. So we're going to clamp it all up like this. And when you clamp it, you need to make sure you really reef on this thing here. It needs to be really tight. You can't just willy nilly it. It's got to be really tight. And then after you've tightened it, we're going to do what's called the budge test. You grab your workpiece and you give it a shake to make sure it's tight. When you do that, you have to make sure you don't pull up. Because if you pull up, you could run your fingers into the saw blade here or on the end of the workpiece, sometimes there's a burr that's very sharp, so make sure you're careful of the end. So I would grab it right here and give it a little budge. Okay, rule number three. Never attempt to mount, remove, adjust, or measure your workpiece while the saw is running. Okay, so when the saw is running, you've already taken your workpiece and you've got it in there. As the saw is running, I don't expect anybody to get your hands in here, try and move it, mount it, Throw a measurement on it with the, with the ruler here. You should never be measuring as the saw is running. You do all your measuring before the saw gets turned on. Okay, rule number four. Do not leave the saw unattended while it is cutting. Okay, so when we bring the saw down, the saw actually comes down at a very slow speed. We'll talk about this knob later on in our operation demo, but this is how we bring the saw down. We just crack the saw, and the saw comes down slow like this. This is how slow the saw is going to come down. So you have to, you're never going to walk away from the saw as it's cutting. You're just going to let it cut down. You're going to stand right here beside the saw as it cuts down. It seems like it's not moving at all, but that's how slow it actually cuts through steel. Okay, so rule number five. One operator at a time. Who's the operator? Jake, who's the operator of the machine? Whoever's piece is in it. Whoever's piece is in the machine is the operator. So you're in charge of your piece. Rule number six. Guard long material at both ends to, re to prevent anyone from coming into contact with it. Okay, so we're going to have long material. If you can see over to the rack here behind Arthur, there's very long material in the rack over here. These pieces here are the pieces that are going to go into the saw. As we put those pieces in, we're going to use these things here. They're going to sit way out the back of the saw and the piece is gonna come way back here like this. You need to stand here to guard the piece that comes out of the end so that somebody knows it's here. So when you're standing here, if somebody walks by, you say, hey, whoa, whoa, there's a piece here. So they know there's a piece here so they don't walk into it. Okay? Uh, now we're gonna go with rule number seven. Never lean on the saw. Okay, so, <clears throat> as you guys know, um, we don't lean on machines. We talked about it during general rules, uh, but the saw is even more important. So as we have the saw coming down, if you watch what happens when I just put my arm on, I'm not even gonna lean on it, I'm just gonna put my arm on it as a weight. What's happening to the saw here, uh, Carter? It like lunges down. It lunges down. If you watch, if I push on the saw, you can see how it comes down faster. What that'll do is it's gonna wreck the teeth of the saw and it's gonna give, give you a bad cut, okay? Rule number eight, the last rule. When sawing small pieces, put a piece of equal size at opposite end of vise to prevent twisting. Okay, so if you look at this right here on the vise, I've drawn a black line on here. 
This line might not be here the year that you're here. So what you can try and use as a good rule, if you're below halfway on the vise, if your piece is smaller than halfway on the vise, so for example, if you've got a piece and you're trying to cut a small piece like this, and it's smaller than where this black line is, you need to put a piece of equal size in the opposite end of the vise, like that, and then when you clamp it up, it gives it something to hold on to on the back, and now the front is nice and tight. Any questions on the horizontal bandsaw? Got her done? Cut her off. Okay, good. So that's it for the saw. Stuart, what? Still recording? Shut her down. I don't know. Turn off.